So from the button, he raises to nine. And then in C2, this person apparently has already folded several times to a three bet. So with queen three, the hero tries to do a semi-bluff with a queen three suited. But what he didn't account for was this short stack and the big blind, who is loose aggressive. Well, let me finish with a jack ten. Two, though, is a hand that's developing into a very big pot. And basically it just started because C2 had a full stack, and I'd seen him fold the two three bets already, I, uh, but none by me. I was yet to three bet on the table, so I thought this is my chance. I've got the button, I've got a decent bluffing hand, and I've yet to three bet on this table. So I'm trying to pick an opponent who I thought would fold. I'd seen him fold twice, so I three bet bluff queen three suited. Uh, the bad news is I actually ended up getting two calls. Uh, C1, uh, who, just again, just a really short sample, playing about 60 big blinds, and then C2. Uh, who does end up calling one seat one calls in retrospect I'm not in love with my three bet as much as I was at the time and, uh, and The main reason why is because of seat one uh, Seat one being a short stacked and playing quite a few hands so far I don't think I should generally be three bet bluffing in front of a player like that uh, unnecessarily Otherwise, I think my spot is probably okay. I do make top pair, and so it checks to me. And at this point, I've got like the ultimate bluff catcher, right? So I'm I'm not planning on betting. I'm planning on checking. Uh, you know, it's just enough of the hand that I can check and pot control this spot a little bit. Often I do have the best hand, but betting there, I shouldn't expect to get tons and tons of action from worse. Anyways, uh, I check it back in the turn. There's a beautiful three of hearts. It gives us a virtual lock on the hand, and certainly we're committed. Uh, so we're going to be willing to put in some some action here on the turn, of course. And let's see what's going on. We do raise eights on table four. We raise ace king on table one. So we'll just keep an eye on those as well. All right, so with the queen three, just going to be making our uh, turn value bet here now. So I bet uh, 15 into uh, 26, so just a little bit more than half pot. Uh, you know, I don't need big bets here to get all in with, with seat one, and when, when seat two doesn't bet into me on the turn, uh, usually he doesn't have much. So honestly, at this point, I don't think either of these players has a whole lot, uh, which is why my sizing is a little bit lower, where, you know, uh, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to play for stacks here, so that's why I'm going a little bit lower. Uh, not, not intending to get stacks in versus t C2. I don't think he has a good enough hand. So I bet 15 and C1 folds, and then... C2, I believe C2 calls, he does call, the river's a deuce of hearts, I can't say it's the, I can't say it's the best card uh, for, for our hand, but, you know, um, uh, I, I still think I have the best hand, and when he checks to me, I just think, I just think I gotta value bet this. Uh, I can't check back here. He could call with too much uh, queen x. Wor uh, he could have a you know like a king queen, queen jack, queen ten, something like that, or, or a middle pair that could look me up. So I do have to value bet this river. Uh, I don't think he's getting here with a flush draw that much because I think he probably would have led the turn if he had a flush draw. Uh, so I do value bet the river. As you can see, uh, with the, the eight hand, somebody bet, and I just folded on a bad flop. And with the ace-king hand, I'm just uh, value betting here. I'm about to value bet my top pair, top kicker on a monotone board. So, with the credit he had. As you can see, 
Uh, he called my three bet with ace king. <laughs> the weaker player called with eight six. Uh, we see, uh, we check back the flop. I think we probably would have got two folds if we had bet that flop. So that's good. We got sixteen dollars of value on the turn when he called with ace king, and then he folded ace king on the river. So I think we got close to max value. One, you know, we probably could have played that hand better pre-flop. Uh, just. So he said that if he would have bet the flop, he would have gotten two folds. So by not betting the flop, he got 16 extra dollars out of the ace-king. I think we probably would have got two folds if we had bet that flop, so that's good. We got $16 of value on the turn when he called with ace-king, and then he folded ace-king on the river. So I think we got close to max value once hitting that flop, and... Uh, you know, we probably could have played that hand better pre-flop.